In this video, I'm going to be going over people you do not want to be in school. A lot of times when we're in school, we end up developing these like personalities that we're not quite sure we actually have them, but we do. And we obviously don't realise it. And you just, you don't want to be these people. If you're one of these people, you're probably getting laughed at behind your back, taking the mic, taking out of you, and you don't even realise it. So the first type of person you don't want to be in school is the fighter. You don't want to be the guy who's getting into fights all the time. Now, I'm not talking about if you're being bullied or like you're being disrespectful. Expected. If someone attacks you, then you need to defend yourself. But most school fights are normally like just for respect. Like there's no actual reason why we need to fight. They just do it anyway. They just do it because they get peer pressured into it or they just want to act cool. And you might think that if you're getting into loads of fights and you're winning and you're beating up everyone, you might sit there thinking, yeah, I'm the cool kid, I'm big man. But to be honest with you, it's the complete opposite. I remember when I was in school, there was this guy who used to always get into fights and he thought he was the big man beating up everyone but everyone around him kind of just thought he was a big idiot and I don't think he actually realised that until much later on in like year 10 or 11 when he actually started to calm down and also in addition to this is that even though you think you're getting respect and being cool you're also going to get into a lot of trouble like I know someone who actually got expelled for punching someone in the face just because they felt like it or because their friends told them to if your friends are encouraging you to get into fights or to fight someone else who they have beef with then they're not really your friends think of it back in the Roman times gladiator right gladiators were kind of respected they went around into the arenas but really they're just entertainers for the Roman Emperor they weren't actually given any rights no one actually cared about them like think about it let's say you're a person who gets into a lot of fights if you got beaten up but then your friends actually jump in to help you or they just be like oh you got beat up oh you got punched in the face a lot of times these people aren't your friends and majority of times people get into fights it usually derives from insecurity they always think they have something to prove or something to gain from beating someone in a fight but if you're fighting in the schoolyard and everyone's watching going fight 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 none of them really care about what happens to you if you get absolutely beaten up no one's going to come to help you if you win you're going to get into a load of trouble for beating the other guy up and it's just not worth it so you might sit there thinking you're the man but really you're just a puppet so don't be a fighter the second type of person you don't want to be in school is the pushover now the pushover is usually the guy who gets roasted at all the time the friends don't really care about them they're normally just the center of a joke a lot of times these people feel alone and sad they never stand up for themselves they have really low confidence and a lot of times they just let it happen i remember a story in school where they weren't like they weren't my friendship groups but i was like friends with them that like i knew who they were and they had this one guy who they just roasted all the time literally every time he spoke they would make fun of him make fun of the way he dressed make fun of the way he looked and like he wasn't a bad looking guy like there was nothing wrong with him at all but by the end of the year he was just absolutely quiet wouldn't say anything to anyone and it's just important that you stand up for yourself obviously you know people can say jokes people can tease you you know but the way I see it is that if they say something that actually upsets you you should go and talk to them about it and if they're like oh it was just a joke sorry sorry then obviously yeah that's fine but if they're like oh you're being a cry baby oh shut up or they go and tell the other friends that you got upset by that then they're not really your friends and you should find another friendship group the next person you want to avoid being in school is the gossiper don't go around telling everyone what you know if you know something which is like juicy or that you know that will upset a lot of people just keep it to yourself because one you're just going to start beef which you didn't even need to get involved into because it had nothing to do with you two this is normally where the fights come in because people go around talking bad about each other and three it's just hassle remember this really good quote which says those who share the least know the most and that's very true i know i have a friend in college and he's very quiet he's very reserved but he literally knows everything one time we were sitting in business and it was just me and him because like the teacher like wasn't there obviously he told me because i'm his best mate and he knew i wasn't tiny one but he just started listing a bunch of things he knew and it's just like if these things ever got out in like public but it would like start wars and it's just crazy that he knew all that stuff and i said why do people tell you this stuff because they know i'll never tell i just sit there quietly and people just tell me stuff and that's another good point is that if you're trustworthy and they know that you're not going to tell anyone then you're someone they can confide in they can trust and will actually tell you stuff i mean how would you feel if you went and told your best mate something and they went and blabbered it all to the whole school you probably wouldn't tell that 
person anything ever again. So don't be a gossiper. Now the last person you don't want to be in school, and this was one I personally fell into. I was quite big into this one. So basically when I was in year 7 and 8, I had really low confidence. Very quiet kid. Didn't really talk to anyone. Then in year 9, uh, in English, I got put next to like, I was put at the back with all the, like, the popular kids. And obviously I was like nervous bro. I remember walking, he's like, yeah, you're sitting, you're sitting next to these guys. I was like, absolutely terrified. So I sat down, just started talking, and they were all laughing their heads off. And it made me feel pretty good about myself, because I was like, oh, I'm actually funny. These guys actually think I'm funny. And they went along, the whole school was like, yeah, Tom, he's a funny guy. And at the beginning, it was great. But over time, over the course of year 10 and 11, I started to realise that I pretty much just became a class clown. Yeah, people would laugh when I said jokes, and they would come up and talk to me. But majority of them were talking bad about me behind my back. I was never getting invited to any of the parties. I was never respected. People would roast me, take jokes out of me. And obviously, because I was the class clown, I wanted to be the funny guy. Sometimes I would even just roast myself, just make other people laugh. And I remember just sitting there, just like, I have no respect for myself. I'm literally letting all these people just take the mick out of me and literally doing nothing about it. I think there's a fine line between showing that you're confident and just taking the mick out of you. Like, I remember one time in year 10 English, I stood in front of the whole class and just started reading the book. And someone shouted, oh, you should sing it. So anyway, I attempted to sing the book I was reading and eventually they all started booing me, all throwing pieces of paper at me. And when I sat down, they were all laughing at me. And I was laughing too, thinking, yeah, I was funny. Look how confident I am, I actually sung it. But really, really, it was just cringe when I look back at it. Like, I had no idea what I was doing. If I was talent, if I was there with my younger self, I would have told them to, like, cut it out. If you're naturally funny, it's okay to tell jokes. And if you want to, like, tease yourself or roast yourself, that's fine. Or if someone makes a joke about you, it's good to laugh at yourself. But it shouldn't get to a point where you feel the need to take the mick out yourself or make yourself look like an idiot just to fit in or to impress your friends. Because if you have to do that, then once again, they're not really your friends. Thanks, you guys, for watching this video. Click on this video now. Until next time, stay blessed.